video teaching on the parables of Jesus. And what I want to do right away is get into Matthew chapter 13. So if you have your Bibles, uh, turn with me to Matthew chapter 13, verse 1. And what I like to do is read several verses of Matthew 13, and then we'll go into the notes that you have as well. And so uh, let's get right to it. Matthew chapter 13, beginning in verse 1. That day, Jesus went out of the house and was sitting by the sea. This would be right by uh, the Sea of Galilee. And large crowds gathered to him. That's important to keep that in mind. Large crowds gathered to him so that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd was standing on the beach. And he spoke many things to them in parables. That's also important to keep in mind. Let me read it again. He spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, the sower went out to sow. And so uh, Matthew tells us, as do Mark and Luke, that at this point in Jesus' ministry, he spoke many things to them in parables. We want to know why did he do that? Because up until this point, throughout the, the entire Gospel of Matthew, he hasn't given one parable. And by the way, this is midway through his ministry. So there's a reason. Why did he begin to speak to them in parables? Later on, the disciples want to know that as well. Um, and so then what Matthew does is instead, the very first thing he does is he gives the most important parable of all. So again, beginning uh, in Matthew 13, he spoke many things to them in parables. And Matthew will give uh, all the parables of Jesus uh, that he wants to give, but the very first parable that he's going to focus on is the parable of the sower. Now, if you look in your notes with me in paragraph number one, uh, one of the things that we want to consider is that, uh, again, in your notes, what I write here, paragraph one, this sincere admission was substantial because roughly one-third of Jesus' teaching consists of parables. And that is a remarkable amount of all of his teaching in parables. And so, in fact, one of, one of the pastors, I don't remember who it was, uh, in my first trip to CIA Kenya, one of the pastors pulled me aside and he said, I am so um, concerned about misinterpreting the parables just in my own understanding that that's the last thing I would ever think of doing, and that is teaching the parables of Jesus to others. So we have a real challenge before us, don't we? Number one, it's that we would understand the parables of Jesus well. And then number two, given the fact that, that about one-third of all of his teaching is in parables, that tells us that it's extremely important first to us, but also to be able to teach the parables of Jesus to others as well. And here's the problem that that, or the challenge that that presents us, and that is making sure that we interpret the parables of Jesus accurately and soundly. I know that you want to do that. I certainly want to do that. And that really is the thrust of, of what this study is all about, is we want to exercise great discipline in, in our approach to interpreting the parables of Jesus, still using the same principles of Bible study that we've been learning. Uh, and that is observation, interpretation, or interpretive questions, and then application. I know the temptation is so strong for us to make a few observations and then we just jump right into, um, into application. But we want to pull back and make sure that we just stay with observation, 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 observation. Then begin to ask interpretive questions. Why is this here? Why is Jesus repeating this word? Why uh, and, and what does this word mean way before we ever get to application? Once we jump too quickly into application, we are going to start reading into something that Jesus, that, that isn't there. And that's the danger in interpreting scripture, or especially parables, 
is again jumping too quickly into making application without first observing what is really there. That takes patience and it certainly takes discipline. And so that's what we're going to be focusing on in every single study of the parables of Jesus. I'm going to bring us back to that discipline that we need to build and that is observe, 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 be patient, be patient, be patient. And then when we're done with the parable, that's when we begin to make application. I hope that makes sense uh, for, for everyone.